Well, hey guys, it's Michael. So good to be with you on this midweek check-in. Just really wanted to take a minute and see how you're doing, praying that your families are all doing well and that you're all staying cool in this really hot weather. So, well, you might be able to see that I'm actually up at the church in my office and just getting ready to do a little practicing before the practice. The band is going to be here in a little while to practice for our worship services this weekend. And I'm going to do a little practice in ahead of that. And that kind of made me think about what we've been talking about in church school for the last couple of months as we've been talking about um, faith and being able to trust in what we can't see because of what we can see. And if you remember last week, we talked about the fact that even though we're ending this lesson on faith, when it comes to us and our faith journey and growing our faith in our lives, it never really ends, right, friends? We are always working at it. You know, we've played a lot of these songs that we're going to play this weekend in the past, and, and I know them pretty well, but when it comes to music just kind of like sports and dance and so many of the other things that we do, there's always a next step, isn't there? There's always another level that we can work toward to get better and grow stronger in these things. And that's especially true with our faith, friends. Even when you get to be a grown-up like me, you never stop learning, you never stop growing in your faith. And how do we do that? Well, we've talked about it so much, friends. We continue to spend time in God's word. We continue to spend time praying to God. And we continue to be around people who are on this faith journey with us. People who can walk with us, who we can trust and learn from, and people who encourage us along the way. And I pray that you have people like that in your lives. And I wanted to check in to see a couple of weeks ago, we talked about maybe finding some of those people who have shown you God's love by the way that they act, by the way that they love and care for you, and telling them thank you. And I wonder how that went. I got to share with a few friends of mine just how important and special they are to me and how I see God in them and how they show the love of Jesus to me in so many different ways. And I got to tell you, their faces lit up, friends. There's nothing better than hearing that you are helping somebody to grow in their faith. And guess what? You can be one of those people too. We all can. And that's my prayer for all of us, that as we move out of our faith lesson, we won't move out of our faith growth and learning and continuing to grow in our faith together here at PCTR and in our homes and in our schools when we get to get back to schools and in our practices because our faith is a big part of our lives not just when we're here at the church but in every aspect of our life because our God is the God of yes the church and the worship but he's also the God of the baseball field the soccer field the music lessons the dance studio our God is everywhere and we can shine his light everywhere too and that's my prayer for all of us. So let's just pray together before we go on with our weeks and, um, and we'll ask God to help us to do that. Dear God, I thank you for these awesome children. I thank you for their families. I thank you that we continue to be able to grow in our faith together. Even when we can't be physically together right now, Lord, I thank you that we are still connected by you and that we have the opportunity to encourage one another as we walk and continue on this faith journey. So God, help us to do that well. Help us to continue to grow in you as we seek you in your word, as we seek you in prayer, and as we serve you by shining your light out into the world so that others will see and know you too. Lord, continue to be with these families in all that they do, and just continue to lead and guide us so that we can honor you. We can make you proud with the lives that we live as we continue to grow in you. And all of these things we ask in the name of Jesus and all God's people said, amen. Well, have a great rest of your week. And we will look forward to either seeing you here at the church this weekend or on virtual church school. Stay well, friends. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.